The Census Bureau reported that 37,764 people moved out of Illinois and into Indiana in 2021. And the rumor mill has it that that trend has just continued with greater force. And it's not just people, it's businesses too. And that means jobs. And today I'm gonna to share the top five reasons why people have moved out of Illinois and into Indiana. Follow me now. Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team. Bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. 37,764 people moved out of Illinois and into Indiana in one year. Suman Kim, a Houston realtor, would say that's 104 people per day, 365 days per year. That's 104 stories, 104 testimonials, and he'd be right. So here's the top five reasons I'm told why people are moving out of Illinois and into Indiana. Number one is the cost of living. Top of the list is housing. If you look at Motley Fool Analytics, the average single family uh, resident uh, home value is 256,000 in Illinois and 234,000 in Indiana, about a 10% difference. The real estate taxes are a big part of what the cost of owning a home is though. And Illinois are the second highest in the country. They're two times what Indiana's costs are. Indiana's costs, by the way, are capped at 1% of the assessed value. Now, add in as far as we're talking taxes, let's say there's no taxes on food at the grocery store in Indiana. And let's look at the state budget because that affects where your taxes are and where they're going. Illinois bonds are almost at junk status. And while Indiana has a rainy day fund, let's face it, it's a lot more costly to fund everything that goes on in Chicago compared to what goes on in Indianapolis. Just think illegal immigrants, if you will. What uh, millions and millions of dollars that Illinois has to uh, fund to pay. Hey, even the Chicago residents are getting all jacked out of shape about it. One of the things that one of our team members, uh, Cheryl, brought to my attention the other day was college tuition. If you compare tuition costs for a year at the University of Illinois and Purdue University, both top 20 engineering schools now, it's 20,000 a year for University of Illinois and just 10,000 a year at Purdue. That's two times the cost. That's 40 grand per kid over a four year term. That's a lot of money for one family have to shell out. Say if it's your first time on the channel and you'd like to know everything there is to know about living in Indiana, hey, subscribe, tap the bell to be notified, and you'll be the first to learn where the market is headed and which great house just came on the market for sale. So the number two reason for people moving out of Illinois and into Indiana is the cost of doing business. Lots of Illinois businesses, businesses of all sizes, have been getting fed up and eyeing greener pastures in neighboring states. Illinois has a higher corporate income tax and property taxes. Illinois has a more burdensome regulatory structure. And you put that all together and it just equals higher cost of doing business. Compare that, in 2023, Forbes magazine named Indiana the number one state in the nation to start a business. That equals more jobs to be found, more jobs, good jobs. You might wanna check out my video, 10 best jobs in Indianapolis. The number three reason for people moving out of Illinois and into Indiana is traffic. Hey, I'm originally from the suburbs of Chicago. I grew up there. I knew what traffic was. It really didn't bother me all that much until I saw something different. When I went to Indiana University and I could get around town in 10 minutes, it's like, hey, I never looked back when I was done with college. When my daughter uh, wrapped up college, her first job was in the Chicago area. She lived downtown, worked in the suburbs. It's two and a half hour commute one way. That's five hours a day. It's insane. Our average commute here is just 25 minutes. So if you're considering moving out of Illinois and into Indiana, you'll want to get our relocation guide. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide. Get yours in the link we've set up in the comments section below. The number four reason for people moving out of Illinois and into Indiana is a change of environment. There's a reason why three times as many people from Illinois have moved to Indiana as say from Michigan, Ohio, or Kentucky, from the other neighboring states. And after the last several years, people are asking themselves, where do I really wanna live? Where do I wanna raise my kids? So people in Blue Hive, Chicago, even are rising up. A lot of this has to do with all the illegal immigrants that are being bussed into Chicago or flown into uh, O'Hare. You know, people like the governors and mayors, they may complain in public, but they still push their agenda behind closed doors. 
Heck, Governor Pritzker signed four bills making Illinois the most welcoming state in the nation for illegals. You know, think of all the fentanyl that's being brought into the, the Chicagoland uh, suburb, suburban, and even out in the rural areas. The number one cause of death with young people these days. And it's only going to get worse. Hell, Illinois just funded an additional $17 million, but it's only available if the illegals are placed in the suburbs rather than the city of Chicago. Great. Hey, it's just one more cost for which there is no money available. You know, I used to enjoy going to Chicago for the weekend, uh, see a Cubs game, watch uh, IU play Northwestern, go to the plays in the museums. But now, give me a choice and it's no contest. Indiana is safer, it's cheaper, it's cleaner, and it's a more enjoyable experience. But hey, it's your call what's important to you. The number five reason is change of pace. Indiana just has a slower pace. It lives at a slower pace. When you compare the pace of Indiana to Illinois, it's like comparing the pace of Illinois to New York. Think about it. Hey, it's a subjective thing, yes, but it's what I'm being told. So if you're interested in possibly making a move, don't be shy. Text me or book a call. Let me know how I can be of service. Make it a great day now.